Now they're gonna send search and rescue. We can't get a hold of them. We'll figure something out. If there is a car coming, we're not gonna know. They, but they're not gonna know until the last minute too. See, there's somebody going that way. I just I think it's so. clear. It's clear now. Just go for it. You want me to take over the Mac up Miller vlog? Yeah. Pilot Watch Tower, 118.6. on the front end. We're here in Lewiston, Idaho this morning. It's 6 a.m. We got three extra gallons of gas. Just at what we needed to go check out cool grass strip on the Stink River. Lewiston is Perth County Airport, Lewiston, Idaho. Wind 060 at 04. Lewiston ground, good morning, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pampa, Hillcrest Ray Taxi via far to the south. Nice little uh, E25. So we're heading to Doug Bar. It's this little grass strip uh, just on the Oregon side of the Snake River. You ready to go? Let's rock and roll. Tower Bonanza 367 Hotel Pampa, ready to go, 1-2. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pampa, Lewiston Tower, only 1-2, clear for takeoff south, departure approved. Couple extra RPM today. We're in Idaho right now. We're going to follow the Snake River over here, and that's Oregon on that side, Idaho on this side. Going to OR8. It's in Imnaha, Oregon. That's the closest town anyway. That's it's oh, really crazy. in the middle of nowhere. But, but you're not gonna, you're just gonna go direct there, right? You're not gonna wade through the river, right? Pretty much. But actually, we probably will follow the Snake River just a little bit because otherwise we have to keep climbing forever. But we'll bring the power back and conserve the gas. So this uh, strip is charted as being 1,600 feet long. Uh, it looks like it's actually a little bit longer than that, but we. You know, take off and land at 1,600 feet anyway. There are a few things though that we need to you know, do this safely. And then also just a couple things that we're doing today to make it as safe as possible that we probably wouldn't need to do, but we're doing anyway, because we can. So it's only about a 10 minute flight over here from uh, where we spent the night. So we left most of our stuff, you know, back at the hotel, just so that we're that much lighter. Especially because we, you know, we got extra, we got probably 50 pounds of camera gear, we got a little extra fuel to go fly around and get you guys all the shots and things like that. So we were doing this for real, you know, we can certainly fly in with whatever we want, but, uh, you know, here we've got all that extra stuff too. You know, we're doing it first thing in the morning, so it's nice and cool, you know, and every degree that it gets warmer, the density altitude is just rising. And of course, you know, we got to look, we're going to see what the wind's doing. Ideally, we kind of land to the south and depart to the north, um, that way we're kind of landing uh, up river and departing down river. So we're gonna see what the wind's doing, if it'll let us do that. And also, you know, it's down in the bottom of this valley, so who knows what the wind's gonna be doing anyway. Do a couple of passes, see how this feels. And, and then we just have to remember that three miles north of the airport, power line crosses the river yeah. 900 feet above the bottom. And we'll go from there. Yeah. Maybe we land, maybe we don't. Should have those power lines here in just a few miles. Okay. Where are these power lines? Right there. Oh, right there, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we know where those are. Lots of orange balls on those. They know this is a busy river. There's all kinds of strips along this river. Most of them aren't even on the uh, sectional. Get the Idaho chart. Okay, so the airport's at 1,000 feet MSL. So we'll start descending so we can get down here and take a look at this thing. Pull the power way back. Should be uh, just around this corner here, basically. Or, or no, right down here. There we go. See it there? North. See it right down there? I don't see it, actually. Okay, hold on. I'll... Or like right over the yeah, top of it right Yeah, I don't have a good angle on it. This is fun. I mean, just flying around in this little valley is fun. Oh yeah, we don't get to land. Doug Bar traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pomp is four and a half to the south. Gonna be doing a low approach to the north. Doug Bar. 
course, there's no published CTAF frequencies out here. So, uh, we're just using uh, 22.9. Go ahead and put the gear down. There we go. But yeah, I think I would definitely prefer to, you know, take off this way and not this way. Right. Looks all right. It does look like it's a little uphill just at the end there. Coming this way. Do you see that? Looks like basically kind of a crosswind, so not too much wind to worry about. Let's go back and do just one more this way and then we'll... This is a tight canyon. Not a lot of room to turn around in here. No, nope. so you gotta be careful. Find a nice wide spot in the canyon and practice those uh, chandelles. Okay, we can turn over this way just a little bit, and then come back around this way. Power lines there. Kind of crazy how big that dip in the power lines is. Yeah. They're so heavy. Going that far. Yeah, okay, we'll go ahead and put the gear back down. One notch of flaps. We're heading down this way. So you're not gonna land? No. There you go around. See, I think the whole thing is slightly uphill this way. Right. Except the, the very end here is maybe the other way, but... Yeah, I don't see anything that makes me not want to land here. No, not at all. Okay, let's go back and land. Let's do it. Oh, hey, there's like some rafters down there. So out here in the middle of nowhere, there's no cell service, not really any radio coverage, certainly no ADS-B coverage, but thanks to Sirius XM, we still have tons of weather information right at our fingertips. Yeah, it's crazy how different the winds are, like up here. We got a 10 knot headwind down there, we got like a 5 knot crosswind. Yeah. There it is. Probably just make a little pattern right here. Yeah, just turn your turn your pattern in this little valley. And Doug Bar traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel, pump with a left downwind landing south, Doug Bar. Go ahead and go full flaps right here, just to give us a little more. Yeah, good stabilized approach. Yeah. Really important coming in here. Slip this turn just a little bit. Okay, gears three green props full forward. We're on the fullest tank. A little bit fast. We'll see where we end up here in just a second. Yeah, we'll be good. Take the slip out and pull the power off. Easy money. Try not to get any of these sunflowers with the prop. Here, let's call flight service. Yeah, taxi into the sun. Oh my god, those are crickets. Those are crickets? Yeah. We can't. Is it not going to go through because we're in the back?
Valley. Now they're gonna send search and rescue. <laughs> you can't get a hold of them. We'll figure something out. Hey, so we're in the sun. We should be able to see the satellite. I just park in the middle here and shut down. Should we park next to the Welcome to Flight Services. Please stand by and your call will be answered by the next available briefer. I'm gonna think right flight service. Hi, this is number 367 Hotel Pop. I'd like to close our VFR flight plan. Right here. Perfect. I'm sorry, say that again. Okay. Try this one more time. Service. Hi, this is November 367 Hotel Pampa. I'd like to close our VFR flight plan. Sure, stand by. Flight plan closed. Thanks for calling in. Great, thank you. We made it here to Doug Bar. Just incredible scenery. There are crickets everywhere, though. They're just, uh, I mean, everywhere you step, they're just flying up. And we definitely murdered some with the airplane, this thing's gonna need a damn good bath after this. Photos, and we're gonna blast out of here. We were gonna go explore up here and stuff, but there were some big swarms of bees and beehives, so we're just thinking, you know, we'll do it another time. It is a little tight. Would not want to come in here any yeah. hotter or heavier. Yeah. Finding that right balance of like nose up to go over these little hills here uh -huh. and minimize drag to actually get off the ground is a challenge. like that little bump there, but we don't want to get the nose too high or anything. Get some speed here, we need about another couple knots. And there we go. Okay, we're right on VX here. I didn't notice on the way in, there's this little house and like a yeah. little boat launch down here. Fun stuff. Okay, well that was cool. There's an ATV on the road I was just on. Oh yeah, a couple of them. Yeah, so there are some other people out here, but so it's pretty remote, pretty hard to get to without an airplane. But yeah, here's this power line, so watch for that if you come in here. You know, it's, it's a little tight in the Bonanza, but it's fun. And you know, it's kind of just what they tell you in like primary flight training. You know, there are short field takeoffs and there are soft field takeoffs, but there aren't really soft short field takeoffs because right. like, you know, the, the techniques completely contradict each other. But yeah, so here we've just got to find that right mix of, you know, saving the nose wheel and the prop, uh, but at the same time, you know, making sure that we don't have too much drag that we can't get out of there at all. So this is Snake River. There's Oregon here, Idaho there, Washington about 10 miles ahead that way. Okay, so we're right on track. We're maybe like a half gallon behind schedule on fuel. Yeah, so now we're gonna pop back to Lewiston, grab the rest of our stuff from the hotel. This thing's gonna need a good, good bath. Yeah, maybe we can see at the FBO if they've got a hose. Get that nose wheel at least all those bug guts like bake on there. Right. Yeah, that's a good idea. 10.0 gallons. 10.0 gallons on the dot. I'm impressed. I'm done. Let's just, let's call it a day right here. fuel we cleaned all the bugs off and now we're gonna go ahead to the field station in Oregon land on the road there we'll have a burger and a milkshake hopefully we'll be able to taxi past between all of the uh, signs and stuff but yeah it's gonna be great
Cherokee S67 Hotel, uh, Lewiston Ground, uh, you ready Way for a taxi day. for departure, runway 30, taxi via Delta, cross 1230. 30 Delta Charlie, cross 30, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. That's an interesting transmission. Yeah, not least of which be because it uh, started with Cherokee. Right. Seem like they're very on top of it, eh? I love that you're just using A all the time now that we've been in Canada for like two I, days. I've been using it a little bit more. A, a little. I've been using it before, but after, now it's just yeah. slipping out. Uh, it's just slipping. Slipping. Tower Bonanza 367 Hotel Pops, where you go 30 via far to the south. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pops, Lewis and Tower, runway 30, cleared for takeoff. Left turn out to the south approved. 3-0, clear for takeoff, and answer 3 6 7 no pop. Yeah, we'll head on out over the river. And as always, of course, on these backcountry missions, we've got, you know, spider tracks in the panel, we've got an in-reach for portable communication, we've got a sat phone built into the plane, we've got a 406 ELT, so if anything were to happen, we've got multiple ways to get in touch with people, and We've got ways to close the flight plan, you know, when we get there. Is that as far back as it goes? Yeah, so you can go. Oh, that's now we're talking. There you go. All right, fine. I can sleep. I'm gonna have the stiffest neck, dude. Yeah, do you have a good nap, though? I could certainly go another hour. Yeah, I think this is probably the start of the road right here. I mean, we're still 40 miles out, but yeah, it's basically just, yeah, so I guess it's straight ahead. We're direct now, so it's straight ahead on the other side of this little outcropping or whatever. Yeah, see, we're coming up on this big Elverd Desert. Okay. And then uh, Elverd Lake just past uh, okay. that, so, and then it's just a little bit beyond that. Okay, so let's start looking for... Road, right, dude. But this isn't the road you land on, is it? Yeah. Okay. This is the stretch straight ahead? Yeah. There's nobody we'll out see. here. Even if we can, I don't want to. Because I mean, we're not going to be able to see, you know, because the problem is that we're, at a, we're going to a corner here. Right. So we're not going to be able, if there is a car coming, we're not going to know. Yeah. And the other aspect of that is they, they're not going to know until the last minute, too. Right. So, you know, we want to minimize all of that. Let's see here. Looking, the looking, sign. looking for signs. So land past this bridge, because look how, yeah. see that little? Yeah, that thing. And then there is a sign right there. There's a few signs on the left. Land past, from land right past, past from there. This one? Okay, you're uh, good. Uh, well, there's one sign, but it's off yeah. quite a ways. Yeah, no, that's, that's good, okay. We uh, should. There are two signs up here. Right, at the intersection, you mean? Yeah. You don't see any other ones besides So I can yeah. wing walk you there. Okay, so there's a guy pulling out, going the other direction. Let's, uh, how far can you taxi, you think? Right All up, the way to, up here. to the yeah, so That's what I'm thinking. Here, let's look this way. Is there a car up there, or is that just something big next to the road? Uh, I you're think good. just something big next I to the road. I think we got plenty of time, so I, I'd go for it right now. Okay, let's, uh, let's do a low approach. And here, I want to time this so that we know how long that is that we're looking at there between those signs. I think you got plenty. Well, I, I know we got plenty to land, but I want to make sure we got plenty to take off, so... I'm gonna start this. Okay, so we're doing 135 knots right now. Starting now. Now we're doing like 125, we'll call it. To like this sign here. Yeah, this sign here, right past it is another sign, but right, that, that sign's far enough off. Okay, I'll just feel like right here just to yeah. be safe. So it was 18 seconds at 125 knots. Let's call it 120 to be safe. 18 over 60 times 2 is about half a mile times, or half a nautical mile times 5,280 times 1.15. So that's about 3,600 feet. That should be good. I don't know how he just did that, but. This I'm is impressed. like basic pilotage. You learn this like. But you did it so fast. Like that, was, that would take me. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, so watch for that's that. the mountain then. That tailwind there from the mountain. It felt like somebody picked up the tail right. and threw it. We'll go back this way. You can do a low approach gears down on this one, or just land. Um, probably just land. I want to stay. I want to see 
Does anybody else come in? See, there's somebody going that way. I just landed think so? clear. It's clear now. Just go for it. Okay. Yep. So just pass this next sign yep. here. Maybe pass this one too, just to be safe. Boom. Very nice. Uh, I think we'll be good on all the bushes. What about this little no passing zone right here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to hop out whenever you come to uh, on the top of the hill. I'll yeah. Come to a stop. Okay, I'd stop okay. before the... 22.9. Let's turn it, hold on. Okay, well, I mean, here, I can, I can probably navigate these. I mean, these aren't that tight. No. Get off the edge here, because that would be very bad. Okay, what? so we are on the road here. Yeah, that's that good sign. Right. Okay, yeah, It's hard for me to tell when you scoot forward like that, because I, I, I just lose the peripheral vision. Okay, we got it at this point. I don't think the power line is too low, right? Like, we definitely got this. Yeah, no, you're good. Easy. Okay. Okay. Just taxi up, uh... Let's I go, go this way. Here, yeah. Uh, Should we just... Behind this van? Park right or? in front of the motel. Park in front of the motel, like, in the car spots up there. In right the here. car spot. Oh. It's right here. Should we? And then we'll yeah. push it oh, back. Yeah. No, do it. Then we'll push it back if we have okay. to. So that was pretty cool. We just landed on the road over there and you know, taxied in the parking lot. Pull right up there. Gonna grab a bite to eat. How's it looking? We good? Yeah. Uh, I left a little dust there. Where do you want me to stand? In front of you? Probably behind. Yeah, because then I'll be in the ditch. Yeah, well, you have to go a long ways ahead to get the takeoff. Just tell me when you're good. Okay, give me 30 seconds. Uh, car coming. This is why I didn't want to do this twice. Well, I'm gonna move over. I'm gonna stay right here until they, like, you know, get the picture and slow down, and then I'm gonna move over while they move over into the ditch. You don't have much room to move over, and I, they don't have anywhere to move over. They're coming. Just move to the side a bit. Dude, I think you just hop in and we forget the pictures. Just go? Yeah. Okay, you good? Good? Yeah, okay. Okay, I don't see any more cars. Nah, I don't want to do that again. Okay, we got 30 knots. We got like a 10 knot tail, a couple knot tail in, I guess. There we go. Yeah, of course, of course, now there's not another car for miles. 
But I just didn't want to do that two more times, you know? Yeah. Okay, well, so that was a fun little stop there at uh, the Fields Station. That was awesome. That was awesome. The burger was great. The milkshakes were fantastic. It's huge. They're huge. Really good. Stop in there if you get a chance. Just, you know, be careful. Watch for traffic. All that kind there's of... There's a dust devil over yeah, there. Yeah, there's a that. dust devil over there. Careful for that. Yeah, no, that's, I, that's I, huge. That's yeah, got to be 2,000 feet. Yeah, no, I, I saw that when we were getting ready to take off. Uh, well, and I guess on, on the topic of safety, you know, I'm sure people are going to be asking, is this safe? Is it legal? Right. We've certainly got some questions on Instagram already, uh, which, by the way, if you don't, follow me on Instagram, at Matt Guthmiller. Follow him, at SJC Spotter. But he's not a spotter. Not a spotter. You know, we don't have, we're not super light, but we're not coming in with full tanks of gas either. You know, we carefully surveyed the area. We, you know, we timed it to see how long how that distance was between the signs, stuff like that, to make sure that we knew what we were getting into, knew that we could get in and get out. Uh, and we had, you know, we had a great, we had great go around options, obviously. So wasn't too concerned about that, but certainly could do that. And then we were coordinating for the taxi out. You know, it's something smaller. It's probably a little easier, but here, you know, we didn't want to clog up traffic. So I waited to fire up until he was ready at the top of the hill with a radio to tell me, you know, when it was clear and. Uh, as far as legality, you know, there's the FAA has no regulations against landing on a road. Uh, there's no federal laws against landing on a road. Uh, as far as we can tell, Oregon state law is somewhat ambiguous on this road, but certainly this is a popular fly-in destination. People do it all the time, and no one seems to care. We're doing it very safely. The fact of the matter is, if you want to come fly in to the field station, they've got awesome food. They've got MoGas for airplanes if you burn that. Nice long, at least two or three thousand feet of sign-free, signage-free roadway to take off and land on. Well, that was, a, that was a good style. It's been a good day. We've been to some pretty cool airports. I go home today. That's a big day for me. It's been three weeks. All right, you ready to start down? Six across Tower Bonanza, pre-67 hotel pops at Toll Plaza 1200 with uh, whiskey. Okay, so this pretty much concludes our uh, whole trip. This is it. Super fun day. Now I'm gonna get dropped off here in San Carlos. He's gonna ferry the plane over to uh, Reed Hillview. There you go. San Jose. Get it detailed after we got it so dirty today. And then uh, he's gonna come back, pick me up at 182 after dinner. I'm gonna go fly this home to South Dakota tomorrow. Feels good to be home. Coming in with seven. Yeah. Runway three zero. Clear to land. Clear to land three zero seven on the pop. Oh yeah, slip it in. Nice little cross one out the left. Float. I like oh, it. I don't mess around. Yeah. What's up? All right. Owen here taking over the vlog. Just had a great time here in San Carlos for the past five minutes dropping Matt off. He's going to the city, dinner with his buddy. I'm taking this airplane back to my home base, Reed Hillview, where our detailer is going to clean up after our uh, busy day today. Going to give it a nice wash and wax for Matt when he flies home tomorrow. Tower Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop is ready to go 30. 367 Hotel Pop, runway 30, clear for takeoff, right down, departure proof. Right down, clear for takeoff, 307 Hotel Pop. Alright, let's rock and roll. Okay, airspeed, indications are in the green. Get that crosswind correction in. She's ready to fly. Little gusty out here. Kansas 7 Hotel Papa contact follow up tower 118.6. 186 7 Pops, yeah. Kansas 7 Hotel Papa contact Moffat Tower and 119.55. 1955, thank you, 7 Hotel Papa. Remember 7 Hotel Papa contact San Jose Tower 124.0. 24 Hotel 7 Hotel Papa. 7 Hotel Papa radar service terminated, remaining in code and contact read 119.8. Okay, keep the code 198367 Hotel Papa, see ya. Tower Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop, San Jose 1500. Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop, number 2 following Cessna approaching left base, runway 31 left, clear to land. Number 2, clear to land, 31 left, 7 Hotel Pop. Cessna 637, turn right, Charlie, and contact ground. Right, Charlie, we're down. Cessna 3, Alpha Tango, cross runway 31 right, and runway 31 right, taxi via Yankee. 
Cross Alliance 3 1 right, Taxi Via uh, Yankee, Gambe 3 1 right. 2 3 Alpha Town. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. All right, I am home. It feels amazing. Had a great trip. Now it's time to give this bird a bath. Jack 55231, five, five, straight out, runway 31 left, cleared for takeoff.